You have a new book that just came out this summer. I do. On this day, 365 Tales of History, Mystery, and More. It's a collection of um, quirky, unusual, miscellaneous stories, one for every day of the year. It's it's awesome. I love the illustrations. Did, oh, good. Uh, the cover you... is amazing. Yeah. And yeah. the cover's by uh, Graham Blair. He does great, fantastic work. I understand that you have a story that relates to the Arts and Culture Center Library, or the A.C. Hunter Library, uh, in the basement. Would you care to tell us that story this evening? Yeah, absolutely. So the the story that I've heard was a story that was told to me uh, several years ago, early 2000s, um, by a woman who had been working in the library. And, and she said that she would often hear kind of strange noises. She would hear uh, something coming from above that maybe was the sound of uh, voices, but every so often she could uh, sound like someone was singing, like she could hear this voice kind of singing. And she always kind of dismissed it as being something from the children's library or from, you know, one of the theater groups that was performing or rehearsing in the building and didn't really pay it much attention. Uh, and then at one point she was working on a project that involved her going down into uh, the basement of the library where the, the rolling stacks are. What we call the bowels of the library. The yep. bowels of the library. <laughs> and when she was down there, uh, she thought she saw kind of out of the corner of her eye, the figure of this woman dressed all in uh, kind of a brown clothing, almost like a, a nun. And she thought, well, that's unusual you know maybe it's one of our patrons who's taken a wrong turn and end up ended up in the wrong spot and so she turned to say something to this woman and and found herself just staring at a, a concrete wall there was nothing nothing there at all and this strange woman who looked like a nun had had vanished and she went upstairs and told some of the other people who worked at the library at that point and uh, they told her that it had been an orphanage at one point and this is uh, partially true. The building is a is a new building, but the site where the Arts and Culture Center building is now was a Church of England um, orphanage, and so yeah, there were the children boys who had, the boys orphanage. Yeah, so there were uh, boys who had lived there, and um, and the building was eventually torn down, and then and then the Arts and Culture Center was built. So maybe what she had uh, experienced was some kind of lingering, uh, you know, effect of the of the people who had lived and worked in in the orphanage. Um, if you go to the library today, you won't see you won't see anything physically remaining of the building itself. Uh, but there is kind of a tangible ghostly presence, not really ghostly, but a reminder that it was the orphanage. Uh, outside, there are uh, a number of mature trees kind of that come along the laneway. And I've been told uh, by a cultural geographer in St. John's that those trees are part of the original laneway that would have led up to the orphanage. Good luck, good luck with your ghost hunt. Well, thank you very much. And thanks so much for sharing the story with us. You're very welcome. Happy Halloween. Thanks.